Here I'm going to go through the addition of a, an acid with a, a halogen based acid uh, to an alkene. And we're going to look at the fact that this is not a symmetrical problem. And so, therefore, we do have a, a kind of a decision to make about the placement of these two things along this double bond. Now, double bond is, of course, nucleophilic, it's a source of electrons. And because of pi bonding, it's easy to, to initiate a reaction. But it's important to note that in all the reactions with these, we're going to be seeking out something that is positively charged. And so this reaction is going to start where the double bond is going to be used to form a bond with the H plus here, and the electrons are going to remain with the bromine. So we're going to end up with a bromide ion. negative charge. But the other thing we're going to end up with is we're going to end up with a hydrogen only of one of the two carbons. So the hydrogen could go to this carbon or it could go to this carbon. The other one is going to be what's called a carbocation where we have a positively charged carbon because it only has three bonds. So the choice is, does the hydrogen go to here or to here? Let's actually look at both of those options. So in the one we have CH3 to a carbon a hydrogen to a CH3 and we would have a plus charge here call that option A. And the other one, the hydrogen is going to go here. So we have a CH3 to a CH2 to a CH2, and we have our positive charge here. Let's call this option B. Now, a carbocation is unstable. It's a carbon that's missing electron density. Um, carbon is of decent electronegativity. This is a problem. It's not going to last very long. Anything that can donate electron density to this is going to interact with it. Okay. In addition to that, though, uh, these are different. These are different in stability because this carbon is only able to really pull electron density away from this carbon that's adjacent to it. The hydrogens have so little electron density to begin with because they only have one electron. So what we're seeing here is that we have something unstable without really much help to, to stabilize that instability. This one, on the other hand, is attached to two different carbons. So because this is a secondary carbon. This is a primary carbon, meaning that there's only one other carbon attached, and in this case there are two carbons attached. This is our more stable option. This is what we will form. So we're going to put option A up here. We would have CH3 to a CH to a CH3, and we would have our plus charge. Then, in our final step, the bromide is then going to come in and it's going to form a bond with that carbon. We'll find our, form our final product, CH3, CHBr, to CH3. So we would have two bromopropane as our final product. We would not form one bromopropane. Now, in reality, you would probably see some of both of these depending on the relative stabilities of these two carbocations. Uh, in this case, we'd probably see a lot more of A than B, but there might be other situations where the stability gap is not quite as large. In that case, we would expect to see a mixture of those two things where we would see one bromo and two bromo. But we might see a little bit of mixture, but the percentages might be quite slim for the alternate product.